to our channel RJ Automobile, a channel in which we are discuss about the part of an automobiles. In order to that, today we are going to discuss about the torque converter. With the help of the torque converter, we convert the torque. Means can be produce a high torque or can be low torque. So the torque converter, basically the torque converter is consists of three parts. First one is a turbine, second one is a pump, third one is a stator. The torque converter is also based on the fluid coupling. The fluid is used to convert the torque. In this system, the turbine is coupled with an engine shaft. So in this system, the turbine is coupled with an engine shaft and the pump is connected with the transmission shaft and the additional thing which is a stator the stator is a part through which the torque conversion is possible the torque converter is the same as the fluid flywheel just the another thing means the additional thing as a stator through which the torque is converted so this is also the based on this principle of the fluid coupling when the engine starts spinning the turbine also starts spinning at the same speed of engine when the turbine starts spinning due to the centrifugal effect the fluid present in the turbine also starts spinning and spread out and strikes on the pump and same as the fluid flywheel the pumps also start spinning due to the high viscosity of the fluid means this is a turbine and this is a pump the pump is also a turbine which have the radial blades on it same as an impeller so when the impeller starts spinning means turbine starts spinning because of an engine and due to the centrifugal effect the oil spread out tangent of the edge of the turbine after this the oil from the turbine goes to the pump and strike the blades of the pump and due to the coupling this also starts spinning if in the starting condition if the impeller star uh, impeller is running at same time the pump also starts spinning but in the low rpm than the turbine so from the turbine due to centrifugal effect the oil flows outward of the impeller and, st and strikes to the pump and because of the manufacturing of the radial blades of the pump the oil enters from the top of this from the top of the pump and due to the manufacturing the oil is co oil comes out from the center of the pump means if this one is a turbine means this one it is a turbine oil throws to the ends of the turbine means likewise this and goes to the stator and goes to the pump means this one is a pump goes to the pump and the upper direction after that in the second condition the oil comes out from the pump uh, towards the center after that the oil comes out from the center of the pump and strikes the stator here is a different thing before stator is a simple fluid coupling but third part is a stator like this if this one is a turbine this one is a pump and this one is a stator the stator is placed in between the turbine and pump so when the fluid coupling is done means the fluid comes from the pump to towards the center of the pump and it strikes the stator because of the manufacturing of the blades of the stator the oil is throws to the turbine almost 90 degrees like here to the turbine it goes to the pump and then with the with the with the pump the oil comes out from the center and directly strikes to the stator means 
the oil comes out from the turbine and goes to the pump and after that in the second in the second position the oil comes out from the pump and strikes to the stator and because of the stator the oil goes to the turbine almost in the 90 degrees same as the pump also throw the oil reverse in a 180 degree to the turbine so because of this stator torque conversion is possible so this is a torque converter this is a cut section of the torque converter this is also a torque converter means turbine, pump and stator mixture of the three parts that's called a torque converter additional thing in the torque converter is the flow of an oil is continuous but a disadvantage is in the high speed the, the efficiency of torque converter is somewhat less and the torque converter is used for the both and the automatic transmission and the clutch also so this is a torque converter thanks for watching our channel RG Automobile